So what we have here, the first thing is user. So users will be given multiple roles. User can have roles of engineer, user can have the role of a employee, and user can have role of a business manager who does financial transition, also responsible for those. So multiple roles can be given to this user. Now we have a concept of catalogs. So let's imagine that we have catalog C1 and we have catalog C2 and we provide the tiles which are basically application and we have this other application of the time card which is given to catalog C1 again and this news feed is given to catalog C2. Now what we do is we give this catalog to any role and then we say that this catalog is given to a engineer so the engineer will be basically having access to this catalog and uh, for example this catalog c2 is given to a business user so who is managing the finance or responsible for the strategy for your organization and then this particular c2 catalog will be having access to the news feed so this is something new now the user will be getting multiple roles because he is part of the organization he can be employee he can be engineer so and these are multiple roles given to our user so for example our user is given the role of the supervisor and role of an employee and uh, it can happen that our user might not be given a role of a business manager or maybe a business person so it can happen so so this is how the structure is now let's try to simplify all the scenario and try to go one level abstract to keep things not to complicate but to simplify and make it general so what we have now is one level abstraction so we are coming above one level just to make the thing simple so we have our user we have role r1 r2 and we have the catalog c1 c2 and c3 and tile t1 t2 t3 and t4 so what we are going to do is we are going to assign the tile t1 and t2 to c1 and we are going to assign the tile t3 to c2 and we are going to assign the tile t4 to our c3 which is this third catalog now what happens here if we provide the catalog c1 and c2 to role 1 and provide the catalog c3 to role 2 now we have the user given only the role 1 and we are not providing user with the role 2 so let's understand that what are the tiles which our user will be able to see in the fury launch pad so if we have the fury launch pad then what do you think are the tiles which will be visible to the user just guess what are the tiles which the user can see so the answer is user will not be able to see any of the tile in the launch pad even if user have access to tile t1 from catalog c1 t2 from catalog c1 and t3 from catalog c2 still user will not be able to view any other tile and basically go through and utilize this application here now what are the reason the tile t1 t2 t3 will be present but will be hidden for the user because we are missing one critical thing here and that critical thing is groups now what happens is whenever you are seeing a fury launch pad all the different tiles are grouped together so what you can have is we can have a group g1 and this g1 gets the tile t1 and t3 and this g1 represent all the mm related tile all the material management functional tiles which are grouped together in this group and the groups are then given to the roles and let's assign this g1 to our r1 now what are the tiles which the user will be able to see in this launch pad and the answer is user will be able to see tiles t1 and t3 even if he has access to tile t2 that will be hidden and will not be shown the user will be seeing the tile t1 and t3 in a group called g1 which is mm you can have a short description there and this is exactly what the user will be seeing when he or she will be launching the fury launch pad now what if we put a tile t4 
in the group but this T4 tile is not present in the catalog C1 or C2 which is part of the role R1. What do you think will happen? Do you think that the launch pad will show the tile or do you think that there will be nothing shown? And the answer is the tile T4 will be shown in the launch pad but it will basically give you a authorization error. So this is how on an overview section we have our role which is the most important part here and roles are given tiles by your catalog and your groups and we have at the end tiles. So this is how the entire structure is there. If a tile is present both in the group and the catalog which is given to a role which a user get then he or she will be seeing that particular tile. If the tile is present in the catalog but is not present in the group then those tiles will be hidden for the user and if the tile is not present in the catalog but present in the group then the user will be actually seeing the tile but it will be error as an authentication error. So at the end if the tile is having both in the catalog and in the group and the group and the catalog are assigned to the role and the user has the role then he or she will be successfully seeing the tile in their specific group in the Fury Launchpad. So this is the overview of how group catalog tiles and launchpad and the roles all play an important role in deciding what are the tiles which are basically applications which a user sees. So let's go and understand the next section about one more important theoretical aspect about Fury which is architecture and in the architecture we also have to understand what are the different types of Fury application we have. We have multiple type of Fury application called transaction application, fact sheet. So based on the different types of application we do have different type of architecture. So let's catch up in the next section to understand the theory behind the Fury first and then we'll do the practical. So let's catch up in the next section.